guys. Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about yet another Mach 3 screen. This is a custom screen specifically designed for the MCO VMC 100. Now, the main tab here looks very familiar to most of the other screens. However, there are a couple of things that I changed up specifically for the MCO. I've added a sp the spindle warm-up macro here. We've also added automatic oiler, an automatic door, and so these features are seen here on the screens. The oiler here, you can manually oil by pressing this button. The door is uh, also automatic and you'll get an input when the door is secure. I've also built into the screen uh, safety features, so if the door is ajar, it will not move. Uh, the spindle will not run. Uh, the probing tab is pretty much the same, not, uh, not any changes here. The diagnostics tab, uh, pretty much the same, no changes here. The main changes are on the main screen and the ATC tab. Now you can see the ATC tab is all new and completely redesigned for the MCO VMC 100. Of course, if you've seen one of these machines, you know they have a rotary tool changer turret. It's a tin position and the tools are actually permanently mounted into the carousel. Over here, of course, we have our stack light. We have a manual button to open and close our door. Uh, this button is also, as you can see, it's closed here. This button is also on the main screen here by pressing this. This input here is actually an input directly from the door. So this input is separate from this. This is just showing that the output is active. We're using output five here. Uh, we have our B home LED, our in position. Uh, this is a sensor number two that's currently on the MCO, and we're using that to let us know that the carousel is positioned at one of the tools. Uh, input three here lets us know that the tool is secure, so uh, the spindle is lowered and engaged with the tool. And of course, our door secure LED here. Uh, we have our Z secure tool height. This is the height where uh, this input 3 would be active. We have our carousel clearance height. This is the height where the carousel is clear so that it can rotate. Uh, down here we have some manual buttons. Uh, this will turn rotate our turret counterclockwise. Uh, and this button will rotate it clockwise. Uh, this was These five buttons here were on the original Siemens control and I believe that on the original MCO controller there were some buttons as well so uh, we added those buttons to the screen the buttons on the screen actually provide a function and you can also wire these into the buttons on your control panel so that they do the same thing as well in the original configuration you had to press button 3 and one of the other buttons to get it to work but with Mach 3, we do not need to do this, so we're leaving button 3 free for now, and we can configure this to do another function at a later date. Over here, we're going to move uh, to the Z clearance height, which will be here. So pressing this will move us to minus 1, which we're already here in machine coordinates. Let's jog it down a bit. Okay, there we go. So pressing that will move us to minus 1. Also, our safe Z height, whatever we have our safe Z height set up for, first of all, you have to allow safe Z moves. Then you have to configure it. Do we want it to move in machine coordinates or do we want it to move in work coordinates or just an incremental rise? Uh, in this case, we have it going to machine coordinates and we're moving it to minus one. So let's change this to uh, minus two for now click OK so now when we press this button it will move to minus 2 so this one here moves us to whatever our clearance height is set for in this case it's minus 1 and then this will move us to uh, our safe Z move which is minus 1 now if we're already above this position it will not do anything but now you can see it moves to safe Z to minus 2 
Over here is uh, optional. This is if you want to move the table out of the way to do a tool change, you can set it to uh, a specific position. Uh, we can enable this and disable this. Up here we have our spindle DRO. Uh, this is the tool that's currently in the spindle. Once we get our input three and we know the tool is secure, this tool will turn green. Uh, we have our X, Y, Z, B is the axis we're using for the carousel. So position nine is 288 degrees. You can also click on any one of these numbers and rotate to that position. Position one is zero degrees. Over here we have our feed rate. This is the feed rate uh, we're doing tool change. Uh, our cone clean out or air blast. Uh, this is the delay. So however time you want this to be activated. In this case it's 12. But 1000 would be one second. Door enable. If we want to run the machine without the door. Uh, automatic door switch looking to see that the door is closed if we want to be able to run the machine with the doors open we'll disable this otherwise we can enable it by clicking the word door enable uh, the automatic oiler if we want to disable this function maybe you're running the machine and you're getting too much oil you can disable it over here this is the oiler so whenever the oiler is activated you'll get this LED here and this is oil pressure so if the oil pressure sensor senses that we don't have any pressure you'll get this letting you know that you have low oil pressure or the oiler is empty that's the ATC screen uh, it works really well so that pretty much is the MCO Mach 3 graphic user interface it's completely updated I've also updated the brain for this so not only do we have a brain for the stack light we're using outputs 8 9 and 10 to turn these lights on so it works on the screen as well as it, it will activate an output for a stack light if you should have one so this oiler will come on after 10 minutes of machine movement this oiler will activate for five seconds to oil the machine we also have some logic in here for the door so if the door is not closed and we do not get this, uh, the door uh, secure LED, then the machine will not move and the spindle will not come on if it's enabled here. So uh, a lot of features built into the brain. Now this screen was designed to convert the carousel into an axis. So you will need a mount and you mount a just a NEMA 23 stepper motor to rotate the carousel. This works really well. It's very accurate and it gets rid of the whole um, mechanism up top for the using the spindle motor to rotate the carousel. Well alright guys that wraps up the Enco VMC 100 Mach 3 graphic user interface. Guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on the subscribe button down here below when I post a new video if it, they'll send you a link and if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like this video. If you're interested in the MCO VMC Mach 3 screen set, you can stop by the website or contact me. I do have them available. Guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.